Building a good body is not about hard work or training. It's about knowledge because good health and fitness comes with knowledge. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for real knowledge. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. We are talking about complete hemogram, complete CBC, complete blood counts. Right, we have already explained to you what is complete blood count, what are RBCs, WBCs, platelet, hematocrit, what are these things, how complete blood count is taken, what are the risks, etc. in the last video and we have already also discussed what can be the interpretation if your red blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit is high. So if you haven't watched those videos, you can go back and watch those videos in the, my channel in a few days, days back, we have already made that video. Now today we are going to talk about what can be the reason for a low RBC, low hemoglobin and a low hematocrit, right, either of these things. Now these are basically signs of anemia, anemia meaning you don't get enough oxygen to the tissues where they should go. Now why this, why can this happen, right? What all can be the possible reason? The number one and most common reason for low RBC, low hemoglobin, low hematocrit is blood loss, yes. Number one and most common reason is blood loss. Blood loss might be because of some bleeding, sudden bleeding from any site, maybe from the stools, maybe in the urine, maybe from an injury and sometimes the problem might even be just heavy menstrual periods for a long time. That can also lead to anemia, blood loss, right? The second thing is which you need to understand that blood loss can be unnoticeable also sometimes you lose blood and you don't even realize that you are losing blood right and that can be in stools that can be uh, occult blood in stools so you need to test for uh, stool for occult blood iron profile for those things then then there is another thing which is called bone marrow failure now bone marrow failure means bone marrow is the place where your blood cells are primarily made right so if it fails because of there is an infection in bone marrow there is a tumor in bone marrow or there is basically if you have undergone radiation therapy for any cancer treatment and the bone marrow has been suppressed so this can lead to your low hemoglobin anemia then any actually any kind of cancer in the body can actually lead to bone marrow suppression and any kinds of can any kind of cancer treatment can lead to low hemoglobin low rbc even leukemia is a type of cancer which can lead to this problem and even multiple myeloma leukemia multiple myeloma are those kind of blood cancers in which abnormal cells are produced in a higher amount in your bone marrow and therefore normal cell counts decrease abnormal cells are destroyed and therefore the patients land into anemia these are the reasons then it comes to the third big reason third big reason is a breakdown of red blood cells hemolysis why hemolysis means if there is any uh, infection say you have malaria you have dengue you have some infection uh, which is actually causing damage to your RBCs, red blood cells and uh, because of this there is hemolysis of red blood cells, breakdown of red blood cells, so your red blood cell count will go low and you will have anemia. Then there are certain long term chronic medical diseases such as kidney disease, chronic kidney disease and chronic uh, ulcerative colitis and rheumatoid arthritis. Now, why would a person have uh, anemia and low RBCs in kidney disease because we have seen last time that kidney produces a hormone called erythropoietin and erythropoietin means red blood cells producing hormone if it is not produced in enough amount then you will have RBCs deficiency right there it is and this is one of the reasons same thing happens in the your ulcerative colitis also rheumatoid arthritis that affects the kidneys and erythropoietin production or the red blood cell production in a whole or what happens in ulcerative colitis there is actually lack of nutrition the nutrition which is absorbed from your intestine is very less which leads to deficiency of important vitamins like folate folic acid vitamin b12 or even b6 so this comes to the to another reason which means poor diet and nutrition if we have very poor diet very poor nutrition that itself can lead to this condition low hemoglobin and any long term infection for that matter like hepatitis can also lead to liver infection can also lead to anemia so these are all the reasons why you can have a low rbc's hematocrit and hemoglobin so that's all for today we will be talking about why you can't have a low wbc next time
take care bye bye